Well, good morning, folks. Another short video, hopefully, from uh, from me. I've uh, had some periminches through the post. I say periminches. I think they are actually front rank, and uh, I'm afraid I didn't paint these myself. I picked them up on Facebook, of all places. Uh, use the battalion that I was uh, mentioning the other day, actually. And, uh, get them out information now. I'm trying to keep this uh, this phone as stable as possible. I have to improve this uh, dreaded sort of shaky camera effect that we are getting. Well, uh, Alid, my friend, my friend and I were talking about cameras and you know, well, what's really suitable for videos or even just taking pictures. You know, the phone cameras can be okay, but again, I think I do need a. Uh, my tripod setup as, as well. So yeah, starting on the Prussians. I'm not sure if this is showing up okay. I'll try and sharpen this up for you uh, in a second. Professional as always, not. Uh, so yeah, it's sort of very, very nicely based up and painted battalion of Prussians. And uh, some of you may know uh, Mark down the Carnarvon Club. He's been Tell me about the Prussians I did paint up. I forgot the shoulder straps. And he's one of these people, you know, he knows the, about the little details. So I will need to go over those. Um, I think these are fine as they are. So it does bring me to three battalions of Prussians. I'm not sure if uh, the eagle-eyed among you saw that uh, the officer there, the very nice officer, did receive a bit of damage in the post. Uh, the broken arm and uh, a broken flag. But I think... Uh, it's a given now with uh, our hobby that we have to fix a few bits and pieces. So that was no trouble, just a bit of super glue. Uh, I must say, I do have a top tip for you. And it's not my own tip. It's something I picked up in Cardiff Club when I was down there. Um, Martin down there said, oh, nothing new to you, but uh, bicarbon super glue. It's um, very good stuff. Watch not to get uh, too much on your fingers and don't definitely don't touch your eyes uh, with it because it bonds to anything. So, uh, a risky but a very powerful combo, super glue and bicarb. Now, if I pan over, I do have the Grandiers of Cheval, but not on their original front rank horses. They're, they're 3D printed horses that uh, Alid printed off for me. Alid of uh, Red Dawn Miniatures, of course. Uh, not uh, not um, as popular as I'd like them to be. His, Alid is a very good friend of mine. It's as if not, not many people know of his company yet. It's 3D printing he does. Um, and uh, he also sells files for those of you that do have 3D printers. I know it's still fairly niche so far, but I think it is rapidly becoming quite a big thing in the hobby. But um, he's sent me those. And I, I did really like them. Um, especially the... I quite like the ones that were black resin. Not that it's going to make any difference when they're all sprayed up. Yeah, with those then, uh, he managed to cut an indent in for me. Uh, apologies again for the uh, shakiness of the camera. We need to get this sorted. Uh, there you go, an indent because the front front rank metals actually had that sort of odd shape to the riders uh, with the cloth sort of attached to the scalp. I'm not sure if I can show you an example now. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I had to have a horse with the indent on them. Whereas some of them don't, as you see, the lancers that don't have the saddle cloths sculpted onto them. So I need horses for them that do have a saddle cloth. So yet another little journey. I picked up all of these, and uh, unfortunately to say, after someone, well, not far away from us in uh, Thundershill, West Wales, he passed away. A war gamer. I didn't know him myself, but his um, his widow is selling them on, so I just bought uh, bought all of them off. Well her then and uh, alas no horses so I thought maybe a bit risky I did have these but I'm not overly fond of the the actual horses that came came with them so I sort of put the, the project off for quite a while I'm not going straight into uh, more and more and more Napoleonics now I do have a fairly major side project which will be the or what should become my main project American Civil War so I've done two battalions of Rebs, I've got them in the box behind me, and a battery of Confederate artillery painted. You've seen those. 
Zouaves, Union Infantry on the way. Just needs, you know, coat of primer, get into painting them, not messing about you know, when I have time off, you know, off work, of course. And um, for those of you that know, you know, the sort of work that I've gone into is always a, is always a bit of a holiday. So that's a little, little hint for you there. A nice long holiday in the summer. So I'm looking forward to that. Right then, I think that's it for me. Um, the well, danger is uh, doing other scales as well, and to that end, did pick up the AB figures before one of the, well, Eureka in the UK um, closing down or something. I had a, I don't think they closed down, I think they're still a company, but they were selling off their AB stock. So I got the Pavlov Guard and some Russian crashes. I've yet to paint those, but. Um, well, I don't want to get sidelined now, I think I should put, put those away back in the cupboard straight away. Yeah, I do love the extra figures I've had, a lot of command figures for front rank as well. Just been clipping off there. They have these um, little counters on the bottom, so you have to really snip those off with something heavy. I tend to use these old Draper clippers, and then in with the, the smaller knives then for getting rid of the flash and things. I've got LaSalle based up as well. Well, not based up, but uh, glued onto an appropriate horse. And some... Commanders of Crash here. I'm just messing around with the horses, seeing what's working best. And that's super glue, prime, and um, keep those for a rainy day then. When they're primed, we can paint them whenever we fancy. So that's the plan of attack. Uh, try and get the camera sorted. Uh, promises, promises, but uh, I'll do it one day. Okay, thank you very much, folks, and uh, keep the videos coming. It's, um, well, the motivation to get other people back into the hobby again. Well, that's, at least that's the case for me. So thanks very much and all the best.